This is a distressing case that underscores the importance of trust and integrity within law enforcement agencies. The actions of Mohammed Rahadi and Mohammed Kasim, a senior prison officer, are deeply concerning and have rightfully resulted in serious legal repercussions. The court's findings reveal a disturbing breach of trust by Rahadian, who was entrusted with the responsibility of returning inmates' belongings, including their cash, upon release from the Silarang Park complex. Instead of fulfilling his duty, Rahadian succumbed to the temptation of theft, pocketing 406 Singapore dollar intended for an inmate, Nasiruddin. What makes this situation even more troubling is Rahadian's attempt to cover up his crime by laundering the stolen cash and then falsely claiming it was a mistake to his superiors. His actions not only demonstrate a betrayal of trust but also a blatant disregard for the law and the welfare of those under his care. Deputy Public Prosecutor Janice C. rightly emphasized the impact of Rahadian's actions on the integrity of law enforcement agencies. The breach of trust by someone in a position of authority undermines the entire system's credibility and erodes public confidence. Furthermore, the vulnerability of the victim, Nasiruddin, cannot be overstated. While Rahadian may argue that the funds were eventually returned, the psychological and emotional toll on Nasiruddin, who relied on prison officers for safety and the safeguarding of his belongings, cannot be ignored. In considering Rahadian's sentence, it's essential to weigh the severity of his actions against any mitigating factors. While his lawyer argues that Rahadian did not personally benefit from the theft and has an otherwise unblemished record of service, it's crucial to hold him accountable for his breach of trust and the harm caused to both the victim and the integrity of the prison service. Ultimately, justice must be served to maintain the integrity of law enforcement and uphold the trust of the public. Rahadian sentencing on February 16 will be a critical moment in ensuring accountability for his actions and sending a clear message that such misconduct will not be tolerated within Singapore's justice system. What are your thoughts on this case? Do you believe Rahadian's sentence should reflect the severity of his actions, or do you think there are mitigating factors that should be considered more heavily? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more engaging discussions on current events and legal issues.